Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flex. Um, today I am working on the banner for Shimmer and Shine. Um, let me see, let me put these aside. I'm going to do a demonstration of two on how I'm going to use Glimmer Mist that I used to use years ago and stopped. A lot of the stuff I, you know, when you put it in a cabinet and you can't physically see it, then I, anyway, forget I have it. Um, I'm working on just happy birthday and I'm using the pink and the blue that is in the characters. And with the banner, what I did is I took the top of the castle and put it here. These clouds that I put in here were from a, a different file that I have. I think it was Plains. It's Plains file. Um, no, actually, I'm sorry, it wasn't. It was air balloons. And they have these clouds on them. I like them because the little blue shows on them. And then I took the Shimmer and Shine actual, this was the, this is their logo, this particular piece, not this, just this piece below here. And it says Shimmer and Shine on it. I went and traced and cut out the white that had the name on it and then turned it white so that I could write my happy birthday. And then I put this behind it because I wanted it a little bit bigger. Then I cut a circle out of the blue for the blue head one in pink. And these circles measure five and a half inches around. Um, no, they're not, they're six and a half. I lied, six and a half. And I'm going to pop dot them, I do believe. But what I want to do first is find what I'm going to use for my cable. You know, I kept saying on my my messages that I was, this is really nice, I used the pink and the blue. I'm going to do that. I'm going to use pink on one and blue on one. There we go. Um, but I was taking pictures because people were asking me if they could see my office. And I keep forgetting to upload the pictures. So if I remember, this time I will upload them. And also, what I would like to know, because a few people have said it, said something to me, and I'm not really sure, and I just, out of curiosity, purely curious to know how many of you actually that view my channel were prompted to go buy a machine. And if you didn't go buy a machine, how many of you actually started using it? That you had not used it before before you started watching i get a lot of people telling me that they'd had it for a long time but they would never used it um, so i'm trying to find this is my husband asked me to do this guys so he just wants to know uh, and also the printer how many of you bought the epson printer not any printer but particularly the epson 7620 or 7510 any one of those or bought a cameo um, I would like that information to do nothing with it but to give it to my husband. I don't know. But anyway, um, I am going to start by seeing if this pink is going to be long enough because this doesn't look like it's going to work. I think it's too short. Do I have happy birthday right here? I've got. And I don't think I am going to say it probably is not going to work. And. I redid my room, which I mentioned, and did the chalk painting and did some more stuff to it yesterday. And my husband, which now we're in my office, so if anybody thinks, another question, if you feel like my office seems to be brighter when I'm filming, because my husband changed out all of my lights in my office, and everywhere in our house, um, changed them out to LED, and I absolutely love them however they're really really bright in my office and to me when I was looking at my uh, YouTube that I did last night I thought nah, I don't really know if I like my lights that bright in my office um, you have to let me know what you think because they're really bright and I don't need so many of them he just did my track and I had, what other questions, really doozies that I had for you? I can't remember. But as I think of them, but I am going to add the pictures, if I remember, because guys, you know how that goes. Um, 
I forget from one moment to the next. I have a, I have the Alexa in every room of the house, and she's mm -hmm. there. She goes. She's bummed out every time I mention her name. I should have named her something else. But anyway, I have her in every room of our house, and I just if I would just go and step out and use my tools properly that I have, um, I wouldn't forget stuff so much. Now, we got the H on there. Now, I hope I can still spell correctly. We're going to do the P. We're going to do the P. I'm trying to think what else is new, guys, because, you know, it's usually I have more stories in the library. And lately, I think what's happening is I'm not remembering them. And I'm going to pull my glimmer and mist right on the floor. I can see it now. I decided, guys, I'm going to challenge myself. And this is the time. I've challenged myself a couple times to do this. And I have failed miserably. Um, is because when you see the pictures of my office, you will see the amount of supplies that I have. And I need to put them to use. So what I need to do, I've got to get this cord out of the way, I need to venture out and start doing things that I've never done before. Just so I can make use of, I mean, it's it's just unbelievable how much stuff I have. I love it, and I love that when I go to do something, I can really make it different. But now everything's on the wall and I got two pegboards now, and, and my cabinets or my shelves are all full. Unbelievable, guys. But I want everybody to know that has been asking, what do you need to do to start a business? You either need a lot of money or a lot of time. And mine was second. Um, before I actually started selling, I probably spent five years, which some of you have heard this before. And so that's okay, because if you heard it before and you heard it again, you're obvious, obviously following my channel. So it's all good. you like me. Um, that I spent probably five, at least five years. And the very first order that I ever got went to Oregon to do a centerpiece, because when I started my business, it was going to be die cuts. That was it. Well, it thankfully ventured out to doing party favors. It was a matter of, you know, kind of testing the waters what exactly I wanted to do. I will say to you viewers that want to do this, yeah, other than personal use or whatever, family, anything like that, um, that, that you really not it need to be creative and different. And that's why I need to start using other elements because it's I'm starting to get set. People are, everybody, and I don't know if they're from my, watching me, which I highly doubt. I can't believe I, that would be giving myself way too much credit. But there's a lot more shops or things like that that are doing the exact same thing. So my daughter and my daughter-in-law, we are joint venture, decided what we're going to do is we're going to create stuff. We're coming out with a different line, which probably won't happen until at least after school starts. Guys, I think I'm going to like that. I think I'm going to like that a lot. Um, my daughter right now, though, has her three little ones at home. Two of them will be in school, so she'll have more time. And now with her absolutely fantastic, incredible house, so in love with her house. Guys, tell me, is it okay to be jealous of your own daughter? It's not a bad way jealous, but she's got to log home. <laughs> and I say it in every video. Absolutely gorgeous house. I'm so happy for her, and her and Doug, um, who both felt like what 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 was in store for them after divorce, because neither one of them believe it, believe in it, and um, you know I know that it probably took a couple of years with Doug, um, you know, sort of having two kids and being 50-50 placement. Really, not that he had a hard time with the kids, but um, he wouldn't date. I mean, his kids is all that mattered. And he accidentally, <laughs> accidentally met Amy. And 
I said, that's God's work. I, I'm going to have to, because God doesn't believe in divorce either. But the Bible does talk about adultery. Without going any further on that, both of them were free. Um, but anyway, they, um, I don't know where I was headed with that, but I know I was headed somewhere. Probably somewhere I shouldn't go, more than likely. But um, they're so happy now, and I'm just so, so thrilled because they were so hurt. You know, and when you have that kind of hurt, you wonder if they'll ever get past it. They did. They did. And they also agree things happen for a reason, and they are very, very, very blessed with their blended family of five kids, Partridge family. I they had six, I don't remember. But um, their life has changed so drastically. I'm so happy for them. And Kendall, a little update on Kendall. She goes in once a month now just to follow up and check up on her, how she's doing, um, because she's off all treatments now. And she was on an antibiotic as a preventive me measurement because her immune system was so low. And she went for her monthly checkup on Friday with her papa. And her levels were so good they took her off with the antibiotic, which she was, should have been on for a lot longer. But her blood count was so that she didn't have to even do that anymore. So everybody, thank you for all your prayers. She's doing fantastic. And um, she does have 10 years that she has to go through this testing it gets less and less the longer that time goes by, but leukemia, they do not consider cured and done until after 10 years. So I'm like most cancers. There I have the happy. And let me see. I'm going to show you there. And I'm also going to take pictures. But I will stop for now because this is probably going to be a video that's going to have to be done in numerous phases. So. I will be back with the next piece. Okay, I'm back with the next part of this project. And um, what I'm going to be doing now is I cut out, I've got the, the banner already, and I'm going to be using the same cutout with the castle. And I took the letter out and put happy birthday in it instead. These are going to go on the boxes, which are the base to where the shimmer and shine, shimmer and shine characters are going to go. But instead, on the, on the banner, I went through and I took stickles and glued, oh, this one I'm waiting to put on, um, or stickles and glittered everything. Uh, I've got glitter all around the castle, and all around this there's layers of glitter. But for these, I'm not going to glitter them. I am going to use Glimmer Mist. And I don't know how many of you are familiar with it, but it's, it's a spray-on that you shouldn't hold by the top because it will fall off. It's a spray-on, and you just have to shake it real well because a lot of the, uh, the part that makes it shine is in the bottom of the, the bottle. This is not the color I want. I am going to use, I used to use these all the time years ago. But if you look at the bottom, I don't know how well you can see that this here is all full of the actual, that makes it shimmer and shine, the glitter. So you have to shake them real good. And because I haven't used these in so long, I probably have to shake them even more. Now, oh, it's coming off. See now that gold, it's all mixed up in there. <laughs> I never went that. And if you shake hard enough, they grow wings. Oh, I can't believe that just flew away like that. Um, this is all cut out. However, I don't want to take it off the mat because I'm going to use my Shimmer and Shine on it while it is still on the mat for the overspray. And so, let me, I'm going to get back a little bit and hope that it'll, come on. I haven't used them in so long, but I did one already and it worked fine. Let me see here. If it didn't, I got, I got to figure it out because I've got one done. Probably stuck because it's been so long since I've used them. And and the reason I have baby wipes in my office all the time. Let's try it again. Let me see if I can. 
see that little pinhole. Yep, there we go. Got it. And this will make it glitter. Now, it may look like a lot. It overspray a lot. That's why I leave it on the mat, is because it oversprays a lot. Unless you're real close to it. You don't want to be real close because you don't want the thing to be globby when it goes on. So now I'm going to peel the back off. This was just something I wanted to do to give it some shine. This little piece didn't cut out. So I'm going to have to cut that off. There we go. Um, without, without glittering them all off. They've got kind of a little bit more of a rustic glitter to them. Uh, I don't know if I call it rustic. I don't know what I call it. But it's different. And uh, reminds me yesterday. I don't know what I was doing. But I, I was dropping just again and again and again something. I don't know what it was. And my mother finally said, do you ever go a day without dropping something? I said, well, no, not really. Um, I drop something. I drop things all the time. She used to come running upstairs every time she'd hear something drop. She was downstairs and she'd come running, stand at the bottom of our stairs and yell, what happened? She doesn't do that anymore. So if I ever really do get hurt, I don't think she's going to be there to help me. Yeah, she doesn't ask anymore. She said, you either are falling down the stairs or she tells everybody. Now, when I hold it next to one that doesn't have it, you can see it, but you're not going to be able to see. Um, you can see the splatter on it. However, you're, you're not going to be able to tell on the camera that it's all shiny and glittery. That's why it's called Glimmer Mist. And I just wanted to do them a little bit different. But I had taken all of these off the mat before I started doing it, so I'm going to have to come up with another way of shining those because I don't want it all over my desk. And for some reason, my little mat, my Ranger mat for inking, I can't find anywhere. So I'm going to find ones that are done. These are done here. Oh, come on. I had more than two done. Where did that put them? Under here, I think. Here they are. There's a few more that are done. Now, I'm going to put a box together and I'm going to put one of my pieces together and we're going to try and see how the, these got to dry. Yeah. Yeah, I think you have to really see them in person to see. One of the reasons I did that too is even though, you know what I'm going to do? Even though um, it's glimmer and these pieces that the images themselves are not anywhere near what I find acceptable. It, this castle in particular, it did come with a file, but I do not believe it was a, it, it had any, um, what would you call it, recommendations that you print anything bigger than two inches. It's not real clear. So it takes some some brainstorming to figure out how you can finish the piece off even if it's not printing out real good. These, I don't know if I'll put this on after I, ah, that was what I was looking for. I couldn't remember that part. That was why I decided to color them. Because on these, the glitter was a little heavier and so I you couldn't see the outline inside this dome. That was why I said I'm going to put the glitter on it. And I'll end up doing all, all the glitter and the gold. Um, actually, I'm using sunflower is the color I'm using. And let me make sure I'm having that garbage on my hands. How do you like that? Garbage. And get more stuff that I don't want to have it on my hands when I'm putting something together. Let me grab, I got my boxes all covered and ready. And let's grab this little funsy onesie. Um, they are all glittered and ready to go. I'm going to do this one. Now on her, I used, um, I used both my Nouveau that dries clear on the eyes 
and I really like it. I like it better than the um, glossy accents because it's it's just super clear and it really sticks out. So I did that on all of their eyes, and I use um, my stickles on a lot of the glittering here, and then I used some of this yellow of the um, Nouveau on her little beads down here and glitter up here. I'm trying to think what other things I put. I put beads on her right here um, and the rest, everything is done in glitter mist. And the same thing on the back side, of course. Now, I want these to stand out of the box. So, I'm going to flip her over and let me think. I cut these 12 inches. She is how tall to do a one footer. She is 10 inches tall. So I could really no, nope, I'm just gonna do the six inches for the the base. Let me see. This is 12. Sure is. Six has gone down. Nope, I'm gonna do seven. No, I'm not I'm even taller. So I'm gonna be putting stuff in the basket. A lot of it. These I'm, yeah, I'm going to make it taller. I'll show you why when I get there. Let's see here. The I get the Cretology, what I call tongue depressors, the big fat popsicle sticks. I get it Michael's. Um, what you ideally should do is watch for these when they go on sale um, and then stock up. That's what I do. There's some things that... that it's not less expensive for me to go through uh, wholesale. Because a lot of times you just have to buy more than you have room. Mine would be more than I have room to stock. I have to buy all my U-line in bulk because I never know what size I'm going to need. And my, my glue sticks because those are going to be used forever. But some of the other stuff, like these, I just don't have room to put them don't have room and you can run to, I can run to the store and get them if I run out whereas if I run out of my glue sticks I can't run to the store and get them well I can but they're ten times as expensive I'm trying to find here we go a couple of the smaller sticks to put through here let's do this I'm gonna be going up to my to uh, the northern woods in a couple weeks where we're going to be spreading the ashes of my brother and originally we were going to be doing it right by the cabin that they'd owned but now my sister-in-law tells me they've decided they want to do it to the, uh, to the little sandy white sand beach that they went to all the time when they had their cabin that's where they spent all the time was at this beach a real secluded area so we got to go there, however, <laughs> we all have to figure a way to get over to the island. Not island, it's kind of like off of the, well, I'm going to call it an island, but it's not. Um, so, guys, i got to figure out how we're going to do that. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Because we have a boat, but it's a fishing boat. I don't have a boat, my son-in-law does, but... Um, I don't know if it's going to hold enough. We're going to have to have... My, my sister-in-law did rent a pontoon boat for the day. And my son-in-law said, oh, let's just do that. However, um, they don't have any left. They're all out. So, got to figure something out. Because, guys, I am a swimmer, but I am not that good swimmer. There's no way. And my son's... I think it was both my sons, I can't remember who was here yesterday talking about it, but decided that they would like all of us, my entire, all my children and, and us of course, to buy a cabin, a northern woods cabin. And I know my son is thinking that would be awesome because he's a hunter and a fisher. And I love log cabins, love, love, love them, but... I don't know how often my husband and I would go, but I told the kids, if we go in with it, just keep our name off of it, but we go in with them, then that would protect 
that happen if it wasn't in our name when we decided to go meet our maker. Isn't that a horrible discussion to have? I thought about the other day, though, that um, I heard something on the news, too, that by the age of 50, you need to make sure that you have everything, all your, <laughs> everything about you in line, your, your, everything in case something were to happen. And that's what happened to my brother with his unexpected heart attack. What I did find out last week, though, my brother who passed away had a healthy heart, but he had very high cholesterol. And he, the medicine, was giving him adverse side effects. And so he, on his own accord, was deciding when to take breaks from taking it. And then I just found this out this week. I tell him the more I find out, the more when I get to see him again, I'm going to slap him. Because he stopped taking it, and he was just taking it here and there. And that is not something you do. His cholesterol is extremely high. And that is what happened. And didn't have to happen. So, guys, if they put you on a medication, anybody out there, there's a reason. My mother also is having our time swallowing one of her pills that's just calcium. So I told her I'd let her not take it until I talked to the doctor on Monday because there's a higher risk of her choking than something with her calcium because she can't swallow the pill. It's too hard for her. This is what I'm going to put down on the magical carpet. The blue. Um, I did a, a YouTube video uh, recently that I used gold on one of these. This time I'm going to use blue. I have these in a ton of colors. Now come on, straighten up, straighten up. And I will go on one side with this. It's not necessary to go on both. Now i got to find the front side. Love this stuff. This is from Hobby Lobby. And when I got it, I think it's probably every, I want to say two weeks, about every two weeks, um, they run a sale on their laces and trims that are sold by the yard. And then a different week they have their sale that of uh, pieces that are rolls. I mean, where you can buy the, the rolls where I get all of my ribbon. But it's a good thing to do is to check it out when it is on sale because they have the best trims. I, I absolutely, in this on this image here, it's got a gold um, thing on that carpet, and I don't care. I'm making it blue because I like blue. I already did a gold one, and I want a blue one. So, and this is going to my great niece's fourth birthday, and so I can do what I want. I love the blue, and they've got little sequins in it, so it's got a really nice shine to it. It's awesome. I think I showed yesterday, too, the rolls that I got of the little ribbons like, like this that were all looped. Next time I have one of those little um, princesses to do with the ruffled butt, I'm going to do one with that. I think it would be adorable. I, I do. I love it. Um, anything else going on with me? Nope. Still haven't got our zip line put in. Oh, I did, I did go to the mall. Um, I was going to do my, my wall, mall walking. I said to my husband, to do my walks, or to get my steps in, I like to do mall walk, walking. However, I end up going shopping. And so I thought, well, a little bit of a diversion because I can't walk, uh, especially when I go shopping. It's time to go to the car. But I, I try to anyway. And they had those trampolines with this, this the, the, where you put the harness on and they shoot you up in the air like you shoot, get shot up in a slingshot and you just bounce and do flips and all this. I absolutely loved trampolines growing up. So I just put my finger in that paint. Just a reminder, you should never do this when you've just added glitter on something because you're invariably going to hit it. Anyway, they had those trampolines going. And my Kendall and her little brother Will, who is six, were going on them, and Kendall was just doing triple flips, and oh my gosh, she was just having a ball. And I said, man, that I can do that. 
So I went next on the trampoline. Loved, loved, loved it. So I came home and said, I want a trampoline. I want a trampoline. It was so cool. But I was going to try and do a flip. And the guys working there, I know, were cracking up because I was bound and determined I was going to do a flip. And guys, I didn't. But my, my husband did film it. Um, and I can see me trying, because leaning forwards because I'm trying to do it. And my granddaughter's bouncing right next to me. And she's yelling, flip, flip, flip. But I couldn't do it. I don't know if it was that I couldn't bring myself to do it or I just I just couldn't get myself. I just couldn't do it. Guys, I failed miserably. I could not do it. Let me see on this side if I want to do something different over here. Okay, let me check and let me make sure that this is still filming. Because I've been, it is not. Nope, it is. I'm going to find, guys, a roll of gold here. Gold. Yeah, this is what I'm going to use right here. Grab it out of one of my drawers here. Sorry about that. But I want to put something on the other side because you can see the... Um, the blue, that's why I'm not going to put two rolls on it, but I want it to make it look more finished off on this side. So I'm going to add this gold scallop. And it doesn't matter if both sides aren't absolutely identical, because you can't see both sides at the same time anyway. You can only see one side. So I want to make this look more finished. So this is the route I'm going to go. And when you have things that go on a curve, and you put your hot glue down, just do a little bit at a time because you're going to have to feed it in when you have that curve. It's kind of so it doesn't pucker real bad. Okay. And that's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Now I think for this one, cut it off and restart it going this direction. There we go. My mother, some of us, there's been mention about my voice being so noisy and everything. And um, I'm, the only reason I'm telling this story because it's pretty funny. Um, as everybody knows, my elderly, elderly mother lives, lives with us. And uh, my husband yesterday was doing something. We, it might have been a couple days ago. He was doing something in the kitchen, getting a pot of pans or I don't know what. And my mother said, I don't, she said, you guys, everything you do is noisy. Everything you do, she said, when you get a pot and pan, when you shut a door, everything you do is noisy. I thought it was really hilarious. But she's lived alone for 50 years. So, not, fi not 50, 40, at least 48 years she's lived alone. So you live alone for all that time, and, and it's going to be noisy. And I asked her if it bothered her because it wasn't something I could fix. There it is with the gold on the other side. I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. So let me put her aside and put one of the boxes together. I'm going to have to grab some of my tissue paper, too. If I want to put my tissue paper, I'm thinking here, no. I think I'm going to use... I'm going to try something different, guys, and I think what I'm going to do is stop this and restart it just in case I don't like it. I will eliminate it from my filming. So, we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Um, I started it, and now I'm going to do... Oh, here, I'm going to take it out. What I want to do with these is... I'm going to use some flowers in it. And what I, I got these silk flowers, um, they come in a bouquet of like three. Yeah, three it was. And they're they're dollar for three or dollar twenty nine. And then I had a coupon for thirty percent off all of them. So I I bought that's that's the reason for the big flower basket in here because I bought tons of them, and that is where I store them. So they're for right there for me to use. Because I saw on one of the orders that I did, she sent me pictures, and she used flowers inside rather than um, uh, crepe paper or anything like that. But I decided to add another touch, 
which is the, what do they call it again? Um, I don't know, this isn't rough, you forgot what it's called, but whatever it is, I'm going to use the blue in there first, and then I'm going to stick the flowers in. Now with the, with the flower sticks folded, it's not as easy to stick, to stick them in. So I'm going to try on the other side to put the blue in after. Oh, there I got it. And pull the paper out a little bit and pull it down. And there we go. Now I'm going to do the other side. Well, I'm not going to do, I don't need to do both sides. There, again, I just put the blue in there. And I cut this a little bit longer than six inches. This is about nine inches tall where it glued it so that I had room to add, add the, the flowers to fill the box in. So that's what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to fill them up with flour. All of them are going to be different colored flowers and different co color tissue paper. And I would love to hear, which I know I will, I would love feedback. Um, and again, that question, how many do you think, how many of you out there have actually purchased a silhouette machine because of my films? Not, guys, and it's not anything. Um, my husband's just curious because he reads a lot of the comments that come in. And he's just like, how many, how many machines do you think people actually bought? He said, just ask them. I said, I'll ask. So that's what I'm doing. Some of you watch these and you don't do the craft she's watching because you like to. And I thank all of you for whatever reason you watch me. And we're going to put that one up there. And I'll get them all done. And I'll take some pictures. I showed you how I glimmered, uh, missed these. This one got a little heavy, but it's all good. And i got to finish these. But I have to put them on something that can overspray. And the tissue paper, I find I get at Target. And I love it because it's like 10 sheets. Yes, to blue, dollar twenty nine, and there's eight sheets in there, and I use two on a box. So if you do the math, this is this is awesome. It's a great price. And the other boxes I did, I did some that had plaid that had the blue and the pink in them. So I'll put these all together and get the picture of the happy birthday banner and all of the centerpieces. And I believe for right now that's going to be it. And if I remember. I will, I will produce or, or upload with this video the pictures of my office with anything that I've changed in it. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.